Thanks again for being a member of the Click Generator. This video is exciting news. Just wanted to share with you, we now have squeeze pages in the affiliate tool section for everyone to use, which will help you build your email list and then redirect those leads onto your referral URL for the Click Generator. So let me just show you uh, two of them right here. I'm gonna click on the second one just to show you what it looks like. Congrats, you're about to get instant automatic hands-free traffic. No technical skills needed. They click this button. Boom, and this will be your autoresponder form code, okay? Let's go back and let's click on number four. So you can promote this squeeze page and it'll have your autoresponder so that you can build your email list. So let's take a look. Hands-free traffic generation for pennies on the dollar. Show me the traffic. Boom, they click on that button and this box right here will have your autoresponder form code. I'm about to show you how to do that real quick. So at the time I'm making this video, we have six here, but we're gonna keep on adding more and more. So the cool thing about the click generator is we can help you build your email list. And then once those people get on your list, you can redirect them to your referral URL right here on the click generator, and that'll help you make commissions. At the same time, it'll help you pre-qualify the traffic and keep your EPCs high so that you look good to other vendors once you start making sales and have a history in your Warrior Plus account. So let's show you how to do that. So let me just click out of this. And then we're going to click on profile. Once you go here, all you got to do is put your autoresponder form code here and then just follow these directions. The important thing is to make the thank you page URL or the redirect URL, depending on what autoresponder, they call it different things. But basically the page that people see after they opt in, that is the link that you copy here and that's the link that you put in your autoresponder form code. So let me show you how to do this in Aweber, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in LeadsLeap. If you have GetResponse, I'll have another video in the description of this video on YouTube. If you specifically have GetResponse, I'm gonna make a special video for those people because GetResponse has changed the different type of autoresponder forms they offer, but I'm gonna give you code so you can get around it, okay? So let's just make this real quick in Aweber as an example, and then we'll do LeadsLeap. So you're gonna copy your link here in yellow, then you're gonna to go to Aweber, and I say Aweber because Aweber is one of the most commonly used autoresponders. You're going to go to Pages and Forms and then click on Sign Up Forms, and let's create a new sign up form for my website. Okay, so now we're gonna land on this page, and then you just keep it simple. So I'm just gonna keep everything, but I'm just gonna dumb it down. So I'm gonna delete this, delete this, delete this, delete. And then instead of submit, I'm gonna say, get started, okay? Put exclamation, save field, there we go. Now, I'm also gonna make this button show up in the middle, and then I'm gonna change the size of the text to get started, and then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like that. And then I'm gonna change the color to a black button, okay? Now it says get started. One thing I might also do is just change it to where this box doesn't have any line around it. So I might go like this in the body and then I put none and then now it looks like that, okay? And then I go to step two. Now this is very simple. All you gotta do is see where it says choose a thank you page. Hit that drop down and choose custom page. And then this is where you put your referral URL for the click generator. This is gonna keep your stats high, keep your EPCs high. In Warrior Plus, it's called earnings per hop. It's gonna make you look good on our stats and also to other vendors when they see that you're making sales and that your conversions are high, okay? So now for the already subscribed page, you wanna click this button and then choose custom page and then do the same thing, okay? You want them to see the same page even if they opted in 10 minutes earlier, maybe the phone rang, somebody was at the door and they left. So we wanna send them to the same spot. Now you're gonna hit save your form and then now you go to step three, and then you say, I will install my form. And then you can just copy this JavaScript, it'll work. So then you hit copy, then you go to the click generator, and then you go here and you paste it, okay? All I did was paste it. So you just go like this, and paste, okay? And then you hit update. And then that'll redirect you in about five seconds. And then we simply go back to the affiliate tool section, when you update your profile, it'll show you the squeeze pages. If you haven't updated your profile with the autoresponder code, it won't show you the squeeze pages. And then you can just click on one. So let's click on number six. And here's this one right here. So I'm gonna click on this button as if I was a prospect. 
And there you go. My form is ready to go. I can now build my email list. So now let me show you real quick how to do it in Leads Leap. So in Leads Leap, you go to Email Marketing List Manager. And if we go to List Manager, you'll see these different lists. These are all tests I have. But let's just say this was my official list. I click on this icon where it says Get Opt-in Code. Okay. And then here's this code, right? So I'm going to open it up a little bit. So first thing I'll do, see where it says Redirect? I'm going to go right here in between the quotes let me make this bigger there we go and now i'm in between the quotes let me go get that referral url so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to use my main referral url i got a space in front that i got to remove i'm going to paste it and then let me re remove that space there we go okay and then for source you can put tcg squeeze page okay for source then if you wanted to change what the button said just you know you could put something like this sounds good okay now this is the bare bones code okay but just be aware of that it's not going to look as pretty as an aweber form but i just want to show you how to do this okay if you're good with html you can make it look a lot nicer so let's go back we we'll click on profile and let me delete this one and put the other code instead and then that's it now you hit update and then it'll redirect you in five seconds and then we can check those squeeze pages now affiliate tools let's click on number three there it is then you hit continue and then boom you now have your leads leap autoresponder form code showing up there okay now again if you have get response then below this video in the description there is a video for you to watch on how to set up get response i'm going to give you html code that you can use to get around the fact that the new get response accounts don't make it easy for you to copy and paste autoresponder code on third-party websites so i'm going to show you the workaround for that with that being said it's very simple as long as you have an autoresponder that lets you set up form code in html you'll be able to use it and then just make sure your thank you page, your redirect URL, again, basically the page they see after they opt in, make sure it's your link right here. Of course, bonus would be your username. So as long as you redirect them there, it'll work perfect. You paste it in there, and then after you paste it here and hit update, you will now have access to the squeeze pages. And of course, we'll be adding more squeeze pages in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video. This would be the way I would promote the click generator. Why? Simple. You can build your list first. You keep your stats high. And then you're basically making commissions and building your list.